It's a beautiful evening in the city of Lagos, and you're welcome to your beautiful show, wonderful show. And we normally say it like this on this show, that it is your window to all footballing-related activities. You know it is Monday Night Football. Ade Dotsun, Agumi Ade is the name. And tonight we'll be talking about the unveiled list of the Nigerian national team by the gaffer in charge, talking about Kenneth Raw, and we'll be talking about uh, the omission. Someone like Mikel Obi is not being considered for this particular game. And we'll be talking about that fantastic celebration by Mario Balotelli. You remember Mario, ba Mario Balotelli? He's known uh, for a whole lot of controversial actions, but this time around, it seems he actually did something uh, so spectacular, and people on the social media are really talking about this. We'll be talking about one player who did wonderfully well with Ayimba International of ABA, talking about David Tiakasi. He won the Champions League with Ayimba, and he said he wants to do that with Lobby Stars uh, 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 in the ongoing CAF Champions League. We'll be taking a look at what happened between Arsenal and Tottenham during the weekend, and not forgetting the big one. We'll be seeing tomorrow, talking about the biggest football club tournament in the world, where for Champions League, we'll be taking center stage, and we'll be seeing Mouth watching a counters, uh, starting from the game between Borussia Dortmund and Tottenham. Will Borussia Dortmund be able to overturn the deficit? That is $1 million question that needs to be answered on the field of play. On this note, like I said the other time, I welcome you to your beautiful show. It is Monday Night Football, and it is your window to all footballing activities. Ade Dotun, Agumbi Ade is the name, and Super Screen is a TV station. And joining me tonight, uh, to do justice to all of the topics we have at hand, it is Kengde Fagule making his debut on the show. Kengde, good evening. Yeah, good evening. It's good to be, to, to be on the show. I was, going to say, <laughs> I, I was going to say, good to be back on the show, but then it's my debut. Of course, to be on the show. <laughs> yeah, it's, everything it's, with it's, you. It's, it's good to be on the show. Um, you know, we saw a lot of big games over the weekend we saw um, the El Clasico we saw the so I want to take your reaction on that particular Clasico you mentioned yeah. what is your reaction Barcelona doing double over Real Madrid in just four days yeah I, I think um, I think it's sickening um, for, for for neutrals like us it's um, you know it, it wasn't it wasn't what we used, what, what we are accustomed to you of know? course um, Barcelona going over to Real um, Madrid and you know spending 72 hours and getting two victories in Benabao it's 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 mind-boggling really and and um, you, you, you kind of wonder where the whole hype of the El Clasico have, have, have gone to. You know, it's nothing like we, we used to know. And of it's course, it's nothing like we used to know. On this note, actually, let us start the show. Let's talk about the Nigerian national team, talking about the Super Eagles and the Gaffa in charge of the side in facing of Gennaf Roll. Uh, not just on some couple of hours back, unveiled the list of guys uh, that will be uh, representing the Nigerian national team in the forthcoming inconsequential incons African Nations Cup qualifier, hoping for the fact that we've qualified already and will be up against the children and will be playing a friendly game against the Egyptian national team. And this man have actually taken it upon, he took it upon himself to extend invitation to new guys planning your street abroad, talking about uh, Paul Onuachu, who actually played his trade with uh, Midland and Valentino Ozoafo. Good one coming from the Gaffa, extending invitation to new guys, but I was expecting more in the Nigerian professional football, but we never see that. Yeah, um, you know, we, we, we've, we've talked about this a lot of times. Um, you know, we, we expect the Gaffa to bring in players from the from the NBFL, local scene, from the local scene. But then you, you you ask yourself questions like, are they ready? I mean, we 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 see we keep seeing what what happens on the local scene. We see what happened at the at the Chan, we, and we we see how they are representing us in the CAF Champions League. It's not it's not really um, it's it's it's. How do I put it? It's not, not so what we actually expect exactly. to see it's, on it's the biggest up, level. It's not meeting up to expectations. Mm. So um, you, you and and. and Every day we, we, we discover new guys um, abroad that, that are playing well and you know is but, 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 but don't I, you I, think, I think that this one. will go a long way to actually uh, fake our league backward because if you can remember during twenty thirteen African Cup publication we saw some couple of players playing their thread in the local scene represent the night the super Eagles, and this actually gave a whole lot of uh, 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 lies to into the Nigerian Premier League that we still have decent players who can actually uh, take their place in the national team. Well, um, it's 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 vice versa. It's um, I think it's a chain 
I think um, they have to look in words first. They have to look at the whole structure of the NPFL and how players are developing. Ultimately, the national team is not a platform to develop players. The national team is a platform to sell players. And you know, when, when you have um, players abroad that are better than players, because obviously you know the facilities that they work with and of you course, know, yeah. the environment and, and the football education and everything, it's just it's different. So the national team is it's, it's, it's a platform to sell the players, not to develop the players. Ultimately, development of players have to come from grassroots levels. Have to come from the academies in Nigeria. You know the clubs and uh, the, and the equipment that they have. So I think um, it's a good one for raw uh, spreading his, um, his tentacles across Europe. Well, coming from Kenya, they think that it's a good one for Gunnar Raw staying, uh, extending his tentacles all across the world, searching for players uh, for the main national team, talking about the Superiors of Nigeria. But let's talk about the missions. Let's talk about Kelechi Yenacho. Actually, this is as a result of what is going on in this club, if you would agree I with me. I think it's very, very deserved. I think it's a deserved omission. Um, you know, it's, it's high time we started sending out these messages that um, you, have, you, you, don't have, you don't have a guaranteed spot mm. in the national team. Nigeria is, is bigger than is bigger than that. I mean, you cannot you cannot expect to be warming the bench at Leicester City. That not even Barcelona or Real Madrid. Le and no, with all due respect to um, Leicester, Leicester City, City. for my champion of English. <laughs> <Premier League. laughs> but like, if you are not playing at Leicester, it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to break into the national team. I think um, Raw 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 got that. Um, Raw is spot on on, spot on, on that. that. Very well, we're gonna throw his spot on on this particular decision on our meeting. Um, uh, the one time uh, best player at the under 17 level, we're talking about Kelechi in Nacho. Uh, let's talk about the captain of the side. We we'll say that he's not calling it quid on the Nigerian national team in person of John Mikel Obi. John Mikel Obi is actually doing wonderful work with Middlesbrough in the lower division in the English league. But this time around, the go coach has decided to omit him. What is your reaction to this? Um, I, I want I want to believe I want to believe um. It's because you know they are they are inconsequential matches. It's because. But he um, has not played for the national team for a long time. After the FIFA World Cup, he has yeah. But played. but we we cannot we cannot um, deny the kind of um, influential figure John Michelobi of course of Michael Obi is for the national team. And you know in recent times he he, he got his transfer to Middlesbrough and he's outrightly be one of the best. Of course, players. they think Michael Obi yes, is so the mania, uh, Michael Mania, <laughs> <laughs> Africa is the day. Africa is the day. That's crazy. Yeah, you know. I, I, I think um, as a Nigerian, it, it brings joy to us when we see um, things like that happening all over the world, seeing our people um, you know, celebrated um, on a weekly basis. And I, I think I want to see more of that in, um, in, in, in the nation's cup. Um, and, I, and I want to think this is just um, a, an, an opportunity for Raw to you know, um, call on the, the, young, the young, young guys, guys. and you know, give out debuts. And I, I, I want to believe it's because these matches are inconsequential. You know, it's, we've already qualified, and the other one is um, a friendly game. So I want to think that as well, because we still need John Mikel in that squad. Of course, we still need John Mikel in that particular squad. Let's talk about these. OK, let me just give you this information. 23 players in total, the regular goalkeepers. We get to see talking about about the Zane we are talking about our regular goalkeeper, the number one at the World Cup, and not forgetting Daniel Akpe. All of these guys actually make the ranks, and not forgetting the Nigerian goal pocha is the leading scorer in the ongoing African Cup of Nations qualifying series. Talking about Odion Jude Ehalu. And let's talk about Balotelli. This is the point at which I want you viewers out there to actually react. I want you to talk about this celebration. Does this celebration actually worth it? What will, how will you describe the celebration by Mario Balotelli during the weekend? He scored the goal and he actually celebrated by posting on social media, live on social media. Let's talk about this. Uh, uh, actually, when I saw it, I was actually looking inside of myself. Like, what was he thinking about? What was he thinking about? Can you just react to that? Yeah, um, we miss Balotelli. 